Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. Chuck here. We got a list of six properties on the Toronto system, two more on the Oakville Milton system. And so uh, where we are in Milton, we actually have two overlapping real estate boards, which can be very annoying, but it's reality and it's probably not going to be that way forever. I hope you like the new map search tool that we, we showed you yesterday, a bit of a sneak preview. I think that uh, it's been getting great response so far and there's a lot more fun to come when it comes time for uh, for updating it. Okay, so uh, the purpose here obviously is to give you some interpretation, not just the raw information. Saw this one on Harris this morning and it's priced pretty well. It's right across from Bishop Reading High School. Great location where you can walk to the GO train. Uh, you can walk to the, the Leisure Center, Center for the Arts, the library, that kind of stuff. Probably save yourself at least 10 minutes compared to the Southwest Escarpment area. Uh, just in terms of getting on the 401 and getting into the city. Uh, 24 by 100 foot lot is a nice sized piece of property. Uh, kitchen's nice, but not like sort of super fancy. And it's got a great layout. Finished basement looks good here. Uh, walk out off one of the bedrooms to a balcony. And we have a very similar home that's coming out later this week. That's a kind of a shameless plug on Sherwood. And uh, it's got a little bit more space upstairs, renovated en suite. It also has a finished basement, semi-detached. So watch for that. It's gonna be very competitive uh, as it relates to this one. But I think this one's gonna sell in a day or two anyway. And uh, anyway, so that's, uh, I, I'm a big fan of this one. I think that it's gonna do very well. Uh, Aired Court is 429 the same price as the previous. Now we're talking about a townhouse. It's smaller. It's less than 1,500 square feet, and it's very small. The problem that I have with this one is that it feels very narrow. The ceilings are higher, which gives the visual illusion of it being bigger, but if you actually lay a couch out here, you're going to find that it's uh, you have to be careful with your, your scale. Uh, nice upgrades in the kitchen cabinets. You've got the undermount sink with the granite counters, and... Uh, you know the bedrooms are okay size like I find they're a little bit tight and I just think there's better value uh, you know for, for for 430 for me personally that wouldn't be the first one I'd jump on so Hobbs is 447.9 uh, I believe this is a grand model it's hard to tell and I think they've taken out some of the um, some of the wall here typically it goes right up to the ceiling and you kind of walk through the middle of the living area here, but they've they've set this. As, this is one side, and then that's the other. So I think they've laid the furniture out pretty well. They've defined the space with the couches. Uh, total living space, I think, with the basement is somewhere, I think, around 21, 2200 square feet. Seems okay to me. You've got a bathroom in the basement, plus you've got a 34 by 110 foot lot, which is a little bit deeper than what we find with most of the uh, the other townhouses. So this one on the arid court is 489. No photos. You're dealing with a Robindale, which they tend to sell pretty well. Robindales typically are hovering around the 420, 430. If they're nice, maybe 440, but that's a little bit high. Plus the finished basement. So 49 to me, it would have to be really, 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 really nice if I if I could see this one going for that. They've got hardwood on both levels, the uh, nine foot ceilings, very similar upgrades uh, with the Heathwood as the other one on aired. And Tillets is 569, so 2,300 square feet. It's a it's a favorite at the Charlton team. It's called a Plan 6 model. I'll put the link down below. And I can tell that. Here's the detective work we do for you. So Google Street View doesn't have a house to house. It sort of zips you past about five of them to, uh, to show you the homes. But it's this one right here. I managed to find out it's the second one in. And that's a good price. One of these, the exact same model, probably more upgraded uh just went conditional on farmstead of 607 recent sales have been 580 590 that kind of stuff so i don't know how many upgrades you're getting with this one the final point on this is there's a tenant in until the end of april and the one little thing that i'd be concerned with is that you don't have you can't guarantee a tenant's going to be out of there on closing. A landlord just won't do that. So even though the lease is up, it doesn't mean they're going to leave. And it's a small chance, but it is something just to be aware of if you are putting an offer on anything where you're expecting a tenant to uh, to leave. Now this one on McLaughlin, 709. 43 by 101 is a, a nice size property. I love the look of the homes in this area. I think it's one of the nicest looking neighborhoods that we've got in Milton. It's not far from the uh, the sports center. It's not far from the hospital. They just kind of didn't show a room. There's a separate dining room off the hallway here. 
and then you've got your big family room plus your kitchen they could have taken stuff off here you gotta dress it up like it's 709 it's a very competitive price range it's not as fast moving as the four and five hundred thousand dollar price range so you gotta kind of work a bit to make it happen and uh it looks okay and then the other thing they didn't put in is it backs onto a pond which i think is a great thing didn't show that they showed the grass and the lot uh, by not having snow on the ground it certainly might lead a buyer to believe that this one's been for sale for a long time and so you want to make sure that pictures are current to reflect whatever's going on out there now we've got two more on the Oakville Milton system uh, I'll do that one last actually we'll go to 889 Woodward 449 Dorset Park anything in Dorset Park under 450 gets a lot of attention and they've said all the right things in the description. You've got a furnace and AC that's four years old, so you're not uh, you're not dealing with any of those issues. It says shingles. I don't know when the shingles are done. Maybe they were four years as well. Uh, but you can tell by the way this one looks on the outside. The shingles look pretty good. It looks like a modern shingle here. Two car parking wide in the driveway. You've got a back split design. Uh, it looks like they've up updated the kitchen. So that's a lot of good stuff for a 449 house in this area because we've seen stuff that needs a lot of work at 420 and 430. So I think they priced price this one well. You may want to go see it before the pictures come out because I have a feeling once the pictures come out, it's really going to go fast. Uh, you can give us a call if you want to see anything in today's list and we'll get you in for sure. And the last one is this one on May Court. So it's it's sort of in Campbellville. You have to be careful how close you are to the 401 and south. You have to be close how careful of how close you are to the train track. So this one is in a good spot on May Court, and uh, it's a pretty quiet area too. You're not getting a lot of cut through traffic. May Court sort of uh, is tucked away. You've uh, got a triple car garage here. It says between 3,000 3,500 square feet. They've done some nice upgrades in the kitchen here. And it looks like a nice floor plan. Uh, there is a finished basement with a bar here. And then you've got an, uh, an in-ground pool. So it seems to be in line with what's selling. What happens is for the convenience of you being closer to the 401 and not way out in the country, your lock goes down a little bit and the price just gets a little bit of a premium if it's in a good spot in Campbellville. And uh, I would say that this one seems to be priced pretty much in line with where I'd expect it to be. Most of the rural homes leave a little bit of negotiating room. It's not like you list a townhouse and almost expect it to sell at very close to full price. There is a little bit of wiggle room. It's just a different speed of market. It's a different type of buyer because they're looking for something much more specific and much more in tune with what they want. So I like this one though, it's a good looking home. And that's the list for today. So if you have any questions, give us a call. And we've got a buyer class coming up, I believe, on February 22nd. So uh, if you want to regist register for that, it's MiltonBuyerClass.com. Have a great day.